Hey guys, how's it going? It's Orit here. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to stabilize your camera on the newer stabilizer. Now, in this video, I'm gonna show you, uh, we're stabilizing the Nikon D5500 on this here. So, um, every single camera is gonna be different. Uh, as you'll get to see when you're stabilizing a camera, it all depends on the weight distribution across uh, this rod over here. So, your camera is gonna be a bit different, but I'm gonna show you what you need to figure out in order to adjust it so that it balances correctly. So. The newer stabilizer comes with this piece at the top here and this piece is what's going to attach onto your camera. So I am going to take this off because I will need to attach it to the camera. So I'm just going to screw this piece out here and then kind of jiggle it a bit. You can kind of, there you go, kind of slips out easily that way and then I'm going to attach it onto the camera right here. So we have a plastic knife in our camera bag because that's something that's just easy to carry around so you can screw things in like this as you can see. Uh, you can use a coin that works too or a regular screwdriver. So I'm just screwing it in like that until it's stable in there. So now we can attach this piece onto the stabilizer. So the way I'm gonna do that is kind of the same way as you saw me take it out. It's this piece right here that I'm gonna move out and then slide it back in. So I'm just gonna put it down here so I can do this properly. And I just wanna show you guys something too. So you can see here that it's kind of slid in that way, right? Um, there's going to be this flap over here that makes it difficult to get to this knob on the stabilizer and this knob is what allows you to adjust it left and right and this knob over here is what allows you to adjust this piece back and forward. So it might be difficult, uh, depending on what camera you're using, it might be difficult to kind of get to this if you have this piece flapping behind here. So what I recommend is just turning it around so that the lens right like this so that the lens sits on top and then it's just easier to get to this knob just a quick tip for you guys uh, while I'm just putting this on here what we've also done is remove the strap from the camera and that just really helps because you don't want the strap, you know, adding any extra weight and flailing about while you're trying to stabilize this. So we highly recommend removing the strap there. So you see here, I'm just adjusting this knob so that it's stable, it's on there, everything looks good. Okay, so now we gotta stabilize it. So the whole thing uh, about stabilizing, like I said, is weight distribution. Um, this stabilizer comes with a bunch of different weights and depending on how heavy your camera is you need to counterbalance the weight of your camera using these weights so you might need to take these weights off it came with these weights here so you might need to unscrew these weights take them off and then Put a heavier weight if you're finding whoops, if you're finding that it's not balancing correctly um, but because we've stabilized this before we know that we are just using here a um, hundred grams each so that's uh, 0.22 pounds each on each side so you're gonna have this camera right it's gonna be flailing about because of course the top part here is heavy it has the camera on here um, what you're going to need to do is make sure that the camera is already in the exact positioning that you're going to be recording in. So what you want to do before stabilizing is make sure that the camera is already in the mode that it needs to be when it's ready to record. So what do I mean by that? Well, you're not going to record with the camera cap on, so you make sure to take that off. Again, this adds extra weight, right? Um, and so. 
I'm gonna let's say I'm gonna record with the lens a little bit out this way so I'm gonna make sure that it's already in that position and the reason for that is because you're stabilizing it for the way that the weight is distributed and everything so you want to make sure that it's accurate so that when the time comes to record you can just hit that record button and it's all stabilized so I'm gonna leave it like that and um, so now we can see here that it's gotten a lot heavier, right? Um, the lens is moving way forward because it's a lot heavier in the front. So what we need to do to counterbalance the weight in the front here is to put more weight on the bottom. And the way to do that is I'm just unscrewing this piece here a little bit. I'm just gonna unscrew it all the way so you can see here. This is unscrewed all the way so it's extended more. So we have a lot more weight on the bottom now, right? So you can see here it's kind of balanced um, there's two different things about balancing this it's the way that the camera sits when you're holding it up like this and it's also the the drop the length of time that it takes for this piece here to drop you don't want it to be too fast. You want it to take about two to three seconds so that it easily glides from this position down to the bottom. So see right now, one. It's actually less than one second. What you want it to do is glide so that it's like one, two, three, and that means it's really stabilized nicely. So first part is this balanced right here. Um, well, you can kind of see I'm not sure if you guys can see, it's kind of hard to see, but um, if you look at it from different angles, from this angle here, you can kind of see it's a little bit front heavy. So we need to push the weight backwards that way a little bit so that it stands upright like this. So what I'm gonna do is, remember this top knob over here? Um, oh, actually, sorry, it's the side knob, the side knob that moves this piece back and forward. I'm gonna move it back because it is top heavy. So I'm gonna adjust this here, move it slightly backwards. And let's see if that helped a little bit. It's still leaning very, very slightly this way. So again, I'm gonna use this knob to move this piece backwards a bit. Like that. So that's, that's better here, that's a lot better. Um, but now I'm turning it over to the other angle and I can see that it's slightly leaning to the right a little bit. And I, again, I don't know if you guys can see that, but from my angle, it's slightly leaning over to the right. So again, to counterbalance the weight, we wanna move this slightly over to the left. Cause again, we wanna find that center point. So to move it to the left, it's this front knob here remember that moves this plate left and right i'm going to adjust this and move it slightly that way so let's see if that did anything here oh no it did not let's try that again a little bit more over Okay, I think we need a tiny bit more over because again, it's slightly leaning over to the right. So just adjust the knob so that it, and then move the plate over a little bit. There we go, that's a lot better. All right, so now we're gonna address this issue of the drop. So this is how I stabilize it. I first deal with finding the center point of the camera. So making sure that this is like, from top to bottom standing up straight like this the second piece as I mentioned is the drop so right now this is dropping really quickly and we want to slow it down so we need to remove some weight from this piece and the way that I do it is you you kind of have to test it around if you're stabilizing a camera for the first time you might need to remove these weights that are attached to the bottom 
Um, I know from past experience that having these weights on here is actually okay and all I need to do is adjust this pole. But you kind of have to experiment. So try first, if you have already have a set of weights on here, try first to just adjust the pole. So what do I mean by that is to remove some of the weight by shortening this up just a little bit. Let's just try just a little bit to see what that's like. So I just need to put it down here so I can screw it on properly. So again, I'm removing some of the weight on the bottom pole here. So let's see how fast it drops now. So I can tell it's slower, but it's still one second, right? It's too fast. But you can see how it, it's gliding a little bit more smoothly now. Um, again, we want to get to that interval of two to three seconds when I drop it. So let's see what happens if I shorten it even more. Again, I'm removing the weight from the bottom. This is extra weight. And because it's dropping too fast, I have to remove some weight so that this side is lighter than this side. So let's try that. Okay, so I've made it shorter. Let's see what happens now. One, two, eh, one and a half. <laughs> one and a half. One, two. It is one and a half, so still a little bit too fast. Again, let me make this shorter. Let's see what happens to remove that weight from the side here. Okay. One, two, and a half. See how, how uh, much slower that went? One, two, and a bit, right? So, um, you, you want to make sure it gets to that point. But because you've adjusted this bottom drop, it's going to now affect the balance. You see here? See how the top is completely leaning over like that? Um, again, we, want, we, we don't want that to happen. So the reason why that happened is because we removed this weight. So this is not standing up straight you kind of have to find like this happy medium and just it's a lot of adjustments guys um, the way that I kind of think about it is okay well if this is moving too much to too much over here then we need to counterbalance and put some weight in the back and you can do it by adjusting this plate if this is too much if this is dropping too heavily over here then we need to counterbalance it and make sure that this is lighter so that this side is heavier and counterbalancing it it's a lot of adjustments so right now we're at this stage and we're gonna have to add a little bit more weight to the bottom here um, I could add more again you can experiment with adding more weights that the, the newer stabilizer comes with or adjusting this pole here but once you find it, remember what weights that you have on the bottom because you're going to just leave those there and it's going to change if you're using different cameras. But I know with this camera, it's these weights that we need to stabilize it. So I'm going to add a little bit more of the weight so that it doesn't pull up front so much. And let's see if that affected the drop. One, two, and a bit. Okay. And let's see if it's standing upright-ish. It's still really, really front heavy here, as you can see. So what I'm gonna try is moving this plate that way because this part's really heavy, right? So we wanna shift the weight over that way. So the front and back adjustment is this side knob here. I'm going to push the plate a little bit more to the back, see if that does anything. Better, but it's still quite front heavy, so I'm going to just push it a little bit more now. Okay, so we're getting closer, guys. So you see how it's, it's not 
like this anymore. We fixed that issue, but I'm gonna turn it to this side. You can see that it's slightly shifting over that way and a little bit too much back. So again, I'm gonna adjust the knobs so that this plate shifts that way a little bit more and a tiny bit forward. Like I said, a lot of adjustments. Let's see what that did. Okay, so we're getting closer. Um, I'm seeing a little bit of tilt slightly that way. So I'm gonna move the plate slightly the other way to counterbalance that, but we are getting closer. Okay, so let's just check the drop again. So we'll just see one. Oh, that, did that become faster? Let's try it again. One, two. It's uh, between two and three. Um, some people prefer it to be longer, so you might want to aim for a three second drop if you're finding that it's not gliding smooth enough. So the three seconds, the time interval there just means um, that it will glide a lot smoother when you maneuver turns and, and that sort of thing. Um, right now it's dropping at one, two, between two to three like I said. So I would, uh, for our own pre preference, I would adjust this so that it's a little bit longer of a time. But you can see here that it's gliding a lot smoothly. It's not tilting over too much to one side. Um, with the newer stabilizer, there is like a little bit of a pinching technique method that you're going to be using um, when you're filming so that you can kind of guide it a little bit. But the most important is to make sure that the camera is upright and that it is smoothly gliding like that when you're moving it back and forth. So you know what, let's just get that to three seconds so that it glides a lot smoother. Uh, pop quiz, what do you do so that it drops a lot slower? I'm hoping you'll give me the right answer. We're gonna remove a little bit more weight off of the bottom side so that this drops slower, okay? Hope you guys got that one right. So let's adjust the bottom here. moving like really slightly because sometimes it's just the slightest little adjustments that will make it work not too much so let's see here one two three right let's see let's try that again one two three so it's three when it's out here um, I'm gonna shorten it a little bit more let's see if we can get it a little bit more stabilized here So again, I'm shortening the bottom half so that there's less weight on the bottom. Let's try this now. Ready? One, two, three. Ooh, sweet! It's so, so satisfying when you finally get that time interval right because after all that work, right? You know, guys, this is this is our way of stabilizing it. There might be a lot more efficient ways out there, but we haven't found one yet. We were when we first got the stabilizer, we were researching uh, videos on YouTube to find an efficient way, um, but we couldn't find anything, and that's partially why we wanted to create this video for you guys too, so that you guys have at least something to go on, um, so that you can stabilize your camera. All right, so we're good with that time drop. Let's see here. Is it gliding? You see how it's slightly tilted over? Or you kind of have to, when you're moving it, you have to test when you're moving it around because sometimes you'll see that tilt a little bit when you're moving it but not when you're holding it straight. So for me, I'm kind of a perfectionist here. I'm seeing it slightly tilt over that way so I want to make it perfect and make sure it's upright like this. So again, pop quiz. What happens now, right? We're going to shift this plate so that 
it's move it's going to move slightly that way to counterbalance the weight from it leaning too much this way so let's try that and hopefully this will be the gold okay i did a really small 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 adjustment moment of truth how does that look guys I think it looks pretty good to me. Again, um, don't worry too much about this when you're moving it around because you are going to be using that pinching technique when you're moving it back and forth, but it looks pretty good. It looks like upright and it's gliding nice and that kind of thing. So there you go. We've stabilized the Nikon D55 camera on the newer stabilizer. All right, guys, well, there you go. So if you want to see some footage of what this looks like when it's stabilized, um, we're going to put some links down in the description below so you can check out that footage so you can get a feel for what this looks like when it's stabilized on this newer stabilizer. Also, if you don't have this piece of equipment here, the stabilizer, we're going to put the Amazon links down in the, in the description below so you can check that out and maybe get yourself one. Um, it, it really makes the footage a lot, a lot smoother. I know there's a lot of work to get it stabilized, but it's worth it. So guys, that was it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. Let us know if you liked this video by giving us a thumbs up, subscribing to the channel, or leaving us a comment down below. All right guys, well thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next video. Bye.